Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com. I'm going to answer a question a guy asked me uh, on my seminar tour last week. I was in Seattle and in Portland and a gentleman comes up and he's asking me about neutral density gradient filters and he's not sure which one to get because he doesn't know if he wants a two-stop or a three-stop or a soft edge or a hard edge. And I'm looking here on B&H um, and that's where I get all my stuff, right? So anyway, uh, there's... Um, they're pretty expensive. I mean, they're not they're not cheap to get one. You don't want to buy the wrong one and stuff. And so here's what I told him. I said, look, rather than telling you which one to go and buy, you're a landscape photographer. You're going to be doing this a lot. Try the one in Lightroom. Lightrooms is really good, except for there's an extra little tip that makes it better. And it might make it actually better than the real thing. And here's that's what I want to show you. It's a little thing Adobe snuck in and a CC update that's really make takes this to the next level. So let's go over and look. So here's a shot. We've got a lighthouse here. And uh, I'm going to add a neutral density gradient filter look using the graduated filter right here in Lightroom. All right. So it's the fourth tool over the graduated filter and we're going to drag it like you would normally like from the top down and you can see it darkens the sky nicely and all that stuff and you can drag it all the way to the horizon line if you want and it's transparent down there but the problem is this and this is this is something that would happen with the filter in real life and it's happening here is that you don't really want to darken the <laughs> the lighthouse it already needed to be kind of brightened you don't want that issue you wanted to brighten the sky behind the lighthouse well this is the little thing that they added. It snuck by a lot of people, but it's a really valuable tool. This guy, by the way, had Lightroom CC, had no idea it was in there. So this is why I thought it would be good to share. So if you look over here in the panel, uh, there's new, of course, if you wanted to create a new one, edit, edit the existing one that we just did, or look, brush. If you click the brush, of course, it adds brush controls down here, but now you can go to your existing gradient. Hold the Option key on Mac, that would be the Alt key on a Windows PC, and you can actually erase that darkening over the thing in the foreground. So if you had like mountains or an old barn in Wyoming or something like that, you know, and you can see, you can erase that, and I'm not going to do the whole thing here, but you get the idea. You could go in here and erase little bits of it and kind of get it to where it's not really affecting the thing in the foreground it's only affecting the thing in the background so it's going to take you back to where it was before you uh, added the nd grade so that's it just wanted to turn that you on to that because i know it snuck by a lot of people and hey if you were into lightroom like i am and i know you are because you're on the site watching lightroom tutorials so uh go check us out take the 10-day free trial over at kelby1.com we have got a Lightroom class on everything you could imagine about Lightroom. Every little aspect, any little thing that you wanted to learn, any module, any slider, any anything, we got it all right there. Go check it out at kelby1.com. Take the free trial, start watching it all right now. All right, everybody, thanks very much for watching. I'm Scott Kelby. We'll catch you guys next time.